I wanted to put my hair up for this video, but I have imposter syndrome when I do anything with my hair that isn't just like parted down the middle or parted on the side or a ponytail. Um, and I just can't stand looking at myself in the viewfinder with whatever's going on here. Before I start, one of my tennis students um, who is seven years old this week made this little fan for me. It's yellow, which is my favorite color. She's literally the sweetest, um, but she made it. This was like some low key shade. She made it because she said, I'm always so hot and sweaty and maybe I wouldn't sweat if I had this fan. So thanks girl. What she didn't know is that I get really hot when I'm filming these videos too, so fanning away. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the end of the year book tag questions. This is a tag created by Ariel of the Set. I will link the original video in the description below. Nobody tagged me to do this. I just wanna have fun. Let me live. This first question feels like it was tailor-made especially for me because it is do you have any books that you need to finish that you've already started? Or have you started any books this year that you really need to finish by the end of the year? Something like that. I have a problem. Um, I just have no rules when it comes to reading. I really don't DNF books. I will just pick books up. I can be thoroughly enjoying them and then just put them down halfway through because I just, I don't even know. I don't even have a good reason for it. But um, I did something last year that ended up working really well for me and I'm gonna plan to do it again this year. And that is every book that I started um, and, but didn't finish throughout the year, I'm just gonna finish it in December if I want to. Like, of course, if I started a book and put it down because I didn't like it, I'm not gonna go back to those. But um, I do have a little stack here that I want to finish in December. So starting with The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna, I'm about halfway through with this book. As you can see there, um, I'm on page 204. I started this earlier this summer and I really like it, but I feel like I wanted to wait until autumn and winter to actually read it because it's about a family who moves to Alaska. And once they move to Alaska, it's a little more than they bargained for. The dad has PTSD from the Vietnam War. There are a lot of really interesting um, family dynamics and some good commentary on deteriorating mental health. And I absolutely love Chris and Hannah's writing style. I loved The Nightingale, so I know I'm gonna really like this book. I just need to actually pick it up and finish it. It is historical fiction. Um, I need to read Misery by Stephen King as well. I started this for my October TBR. I'm on page 62. My only complaint is that I think my expectations are a little too high here. I have a lot of friends who say that this is their very favorite Stephen King book. So maybe if I like, now that I've put it down a little bit, I know it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be so far. Maybe I'm gonna pick it back up and just be able to relax and enjoy it. It's about this author who was in an accident in this isolated setting and he wakes up and he has, um, he's in the house of his like number one fan and things get really intense. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed to even hold this book up. Battle Royale by Kushin Takami. Um, I absolutely love it. I know I'm gonna give it five stars. I'm on page 314. Again, I'm like a little over halfway through with this book as well. I just have a problem. I did this with A Little Life when I read it a few years ago. I put that book down on and off for like two years. I'm not exaggerating. I think it's because I knew it was gonna be an all time favorite book for me and I'm getting the same feelings from this book that I just absolutely love it. Like. Even though there is so much action in this story, it is so impressive to me that I would still consider this a character-driven plot. And this is all about a bunch of people on an island trying to kill each other. So, mm, I love it so much and I'm definitely gonna finish this before the end of the year. Um, <laughs> next is One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. I started this as a buddy read with Mare from Mare Reads. Mare, if you are watching, I'm so sorry, girl. I like, I don't know, I'm just, it's taking me a long time. I'm literally over halfway through with this book. I don't know what's taking me so long. I'm absolutely in love with the Bachelor and Bachelorette franchise. Something about this book isn't quite doing it for me. Right now we're at a very like middle of the road three star rating. It would really have to spice it up at the end for it to get a, a four star rating from me. I don't think it's gonna be five stars because I do have some problems, but um, I don't know. I wanna finish it before the end of the year. Question number two is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Yes, I do. Um, actually, my current read is just perfect and I had never heard of it before I saw it in my um, on my library app to read as an ebook. It is called The Magpie Lord. Okay, it's like a male, male, enemies to lovers, paranormal romance that has to do with the inheritance of a gothic mansion and also it's like a murder mystery. 
I'm on page 60 something at the moment. My phone's back there. I can't check to make sure what page I'm on, but um, I really am enjoying it so far. It's actually hilarious. Like this book is actually making me chuckle. It's making me smile to myself. I feel all warm reading it. And I think it's really perfect for this time of year. I also think that Dragonfly and Amber um, would be perfect for this time of year. For some reason, I associate the Outlander series with fall and winter. This is like fantasy, historical fiction. It's the second book in the Outlander series. I loved Outlander. There are definitely a lot of problems with that book, but in just me overlooking that to talk about it briefly here, I think that it's a really fun series. And this is one of those huge like floppy paperback books, which are just my absolute favorite to read. I really wanna read this before the end of the year. Question number three is, is there a new release that you are still waiting for? I guess like to be released by the end of the year. Yes and no, I really am interested in reading the Simple Wild novella that's coming out in December, which is bold of me because I've not even read the second book yet, but I love the series. And book two is actually gonna come up, I think, in the next question. Forever Wild is technically book 2.5 and it's a novella, so I don't know. I'm just really interested in it. I saw that it was coming out in December and I really don't have any other releases that I'm highly anticipating, so throwing that in there. Speaking of the Wild series, um, the next question is to name three books that you definitely want to read by the end of the year. This was so hard for me to pick, but I'm kind of treating this as like an official November TBR. So here are the books that I think I can definitely get to this month. The first one, Wild at Heart, which is book two. Um, I read The Simple Wild like a few days ago five stars. I'm going to talk all about it in my November wrap up. So I don't want to give too much away here. Um, but it was just absolutely amazing and everything that I wanted. It was like a Hallmark movie, but meets the hating game plus beach read. And, um, I hope I'm not like over hyping it, but I really loved it. Like those are my personal feelings and emotions about it. So I was so excited to order wild at heart. Like I ordered this when I was about halfway through with simple wild. I just knew, and it's just a continuation of the story. The first book is about a young woman who has to go to Alaska, um, to spend time with her dad who is sick. And while she is there she meets an Alaskan bush pilot and they don't get along at first it's enemies to lovers and it's so good so excited for this one I'm also definitely gonna read the house in the cerulean sea this month this is the page turner book club pick for November so I love reading along with those ladies I'll have their information in the description this genre sounds a little bit outside of my comfort zone but I actually had bought this book prior to it even being announced as the November pick I don't know too much about it other than that it follows this magical social worker of sorts and that it has really great themes of friendship and acceptance and being yourself and I think that that's gonna be a really cool November read for this time of year. Um, and then lastly, I want to read The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager because this is the only Riley Sager book that I haven't read yet. He's one of my favorite authors. Like even if his stuff is cheesy or corny, like five stars, no, just kidding. They're, I'm kind of tough on him, but at the same time, I will absolutely devour and enjoy anything that he writes. So very much looking forward to The Last Time I Lied. It takes place at a summer camp. So I don't know if like it's gonna be the right vibe for this time of year, but it's about a woman who used to work at a summer camp. And when she worked there, some girls went missing. I don't know if they went missing or if they were murdered, but something happened to some girls. And um, now it's the present day and she's trying to like face some facts of what actually happened in the past. Um, yeah. Question number five is really interesting. It's, is there a book that you think could still shock you and be your favorite of 2020? Honestly, no, because I've read so many amazing books this year. I don't know if anything's going to be able to dethrone Beartown or The Vanishing Half for me. And also, I've read some really great new adult romances this year that, if we're just rating based on pure enjoyment, are some of my favorite books I've ever read. But with all that being said, going back to Battle Royale, this definitely has a contender to be top three. We'll just have to see how the second half plays out. And then this next one is gonna sound so weird, like so random, even if you watch my videos and know my reading taste. I think that Normal People by Sally Rooney could possibly be a number one by the end of the year, if I read it. I didn't even put this anywhere in the video, but it's one of those books that I keep looking at and just thinking, I know that's gonna be my new favorite book ever. I've started it, I've read the first, I actually, I've read the first 15 pages and like, 
my suspicions were kind of confirmed that I love it. So it's really short, which I'm a sucker for a short book because I read so slow. I don't know. I feel like the odds are really stacked in this book's favor to at least make it onto an end of the year favorites list if I can get to it in November or December. The last question is just to actually just talk about some 2021 reading plans. I don't plan ahead. <laughs> there is no structure. I am a mood reader. I like making TBR just because I like talking about the books I'm excited to read, but I am so bad at planning, you guys. I do want to get better and more consistent in making the videos. My problem is that I just have so many ideas and I do write all my ideas down, but then when I go to execute them, I don't have enough time right now. So I'm really hoping that in 2021, um, I'm gonna have more content, well, more consistent content and honestly, I cannot hope for a better reading year than I had this year. Right now I've read I think 96 out of my goal of 100 books for 2020 so I'm definitely gonna make it. I mean hopefully I'm gonna make it. I probably will set similar goals to what I set for myself this year because I feel really good not only about the quantity of the books that I've read this year but also the quality. I've, I've read some new all-time favorites. All right that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to do this tag I love this tag in the mid-year breakout tag. Those are two of my favorite tags that float around booktube, so I'm really interested. I tag anybody who wants to do the video. I'm so down. If you have either already filmed this video or if you plan on doing it, let me know in the comments because I want to go watch them. All right, guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend or week whenever you're watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.